What's up, eat me up? Spoken online personality. The conflict is most likely in the recent times with Charleston White. The ex-teenage gang leader, who's now in his 50s, was once involved with the Crips in Texas and went from serving time for the mistakes he made in his youth to transforming himself into a voice that can go viral in an instant. Aside from his criminal- Bro, he just saw Uncle Ruckus and literally copy-pasted That's all he did. Watched two episodes of Boondocks and was like, oh, this thing funny? That's all he did, and now he just put his own spin on it. Like, what? Are we choosing movie suggestions? Yeah, if chat can vote on what movies. We'll get four and then we'll pull it up. Criminal past, time in prison, and the more recent popularity on the internet, Charleston had also managed to become a motivational speaker and gotten closer to God as an active member in his church, like his mother tried her best to raise him to do when he was a kid. His divisive opinions on trending topics and rap music have gotten fairly controversial and led to responses for what he's had to say DZ about DZ public DZ figures DZ such as Jay-Z, DMX, and Nipsey Hussle. If you're ignoring me in real life, all I gotta do is get on social media and say something about you or to make you go to social media and give me a response to what I'm asking for. Charleston White has openly stated that he feels that fans of Jay-Z should treat him with the same disgust as people have for convicted abuser R. Kelly because of the rumors that Jay-Z allegedly got with rapper Foxy Brown when she may have been underage. But Charleston's bold commentary doesn't stop there. He's been outspoken about how he despises the tough guy images that rappers have created for themselves, stating that he doesn't care about DMX or Nipsey Hussle, and he prefers the men that they really are. He even claims to have attended Nipsey's funeral to get to understand who the man really was. But the list of celebrities that Charleston White has taken to task doesn't stop there. Outside of an online personality, Charleston White is the founder of Helping Young People Excel, Hype, an organization committed to giving teens the education and guidance that they need to not get caught up in the same traps of criminal activity that took away Charleston's w, teen okay, years. Respect, respect. Hype has worked hands-on with members of one of Texas's biggest Hispanic gangs in the town of Fort Worth and the town of Fort Worth, Texas, where Charleston White is from. Part of Charleston's popularity stemmed from his willingness to be open about who he once was as a kid, involved in crime, and also his condemning of that previous behavior and allowing himself to be a role model for others to it use changed. a story as a cautionary tale instead of glamorizing violent lifestyles. Charleston White believes that his story could help prove to victims that have been traumatized by crime that the people who committed them have the potential to change. Charleston White even thanked the Texas prison system for saving his life, and he was enrolled in Texas Wesleyan University's criminal justice program to earn his degree. What exactly got Charleston White sent away for those seven years? When he was only 14 years old, he went to a mall with three friends and shoplifted starter athletic jackets. When they were in the getaway car in the parking lot trying to escape, a man hopped on top of the car to stop them and was shot and killed. White wasn't the trigger man but still felt responsible for the murder, becoming one of the first juveniles in Tarrant County to be sentenced to murder under the Texas Determining Sentence Law. To make matters worse for the young teenage Charleston White was that after he was sent to Texas Youth Council lockup, he was scheduled to move along to an adult facility in time for his 18th birthday. But the trajectory of his life was spared by the kindness of four juvenile correctional officers that were willing to put their jobs on the line in order to plead White's case to the judge. The murder victim's family even came forward, stating that they had forgiven What the hell on this nigga had? <laughs> what the fuck? Wait, hold on. This nigga had twists? What the fuck? Fake ass braids. White for his actions. He looked like that old nigga trying to be young. Y'all like my new hair? We're making a case for him to not get jammed up by being incarcerated with adults. This enabled Charles. Funny thing is, this was when he was 24 not get jammed up by being incarcerated with adults. <laughs> Nigga hasn't changed the age, bro. Nigga been 45 for 20 years, bro. This enabled Charleston White to return to the Gidding State School, where he wrote out the rest of his sentence until a couple of months before he turned 21. After being set for- Free in 1998, 
Charleston White has never guys? returned to prison ever again and was touched so much by the compassion of the correctional officers that stood up for him and the victim's family's remorse that he gave up on the gang life, stating that, When I got out at 21, from a mental aspect of things, my thinking, the process of my emotions was on a 14-year-old level. I didn't have the natural progress needed for social skills. I didn't have the experience that a natural 14-year-old experiences. You heard about I didn't go to high school. Shit, yeah. I didn't graduate. So I didn't have those experiences that you need in society to succeed. Several decades later, he's built an immense social media following and racked up massive views on pretty much every platform by sharing his gut feelings and often a lot more than that, even if they aren't popular opinions. And these are a handful of reasons of why Charleston White has become both loved and hated online. Nah, when he said he R word white woman, I was like, this nigga's tweaking. And you know what's crazy? Nigga's still pushing his shit, bro. When he Atlanta rappers Young Thug and Gunner were arrested on Rico like, charges, like, what, Charleston nigga? White said he was happy that this happened. Shit, I was happy when they got some big name rappers ass and put them in jail. For those that don't know, Rico stands for Racketeer Influence and Corrupt Organizations Act. And it's a federal law that permits civil penalties and prosecution to take place for racketeering he said, crimes. What? Bonnie he Willis, the district shit. attorney in Fulton County, which makes up the majority of Atlanta, was on a mission to weed out gangs claiming that they contribute to 75% of the violent crimes in her county. Young Thug's arrest took place on May 9, 2022, in a wealthy Buckhead section of the city. Gunna and additional associates with Young Thug were involved in activities that were deemed to be gang activity as part of a 52 count RICO indictment. And not only was Charleston White happy and jumping for joy that the DA took Young Thug off the streets, but he believed that violent rap lyrics should be used to prosecute rappers. The YouTube channel Say Cheese is where Charleston White, well, said the evil energy that he felt was plaguing hip hop, proclaimed, Yeah, I hate rap. Yeah, yeah. They always talk about killing and not enough about God. They promote nothing but violence and killing, with one of the few artists that he gave open praise to being Lil Baby. He definitely didn't have any love for Chicago rapper King Von, who was among three men fatally shot on November 6, 2020, in the parking lot of the Monica Hookah Lounge in downtown Atlanta. The murder of King Von was attributed to Timothy Leakes, also known as Lil Tim, who was arrested and charged with the murder of Von. White actually praised King Von's killer, Lil Tim, saying that the shooter was doing God's work by getting rid of a so-called demon. Charleston White claimed the reason for his harsh assessment of King Von's killing is that Von bragged about being a demon and promoting demonic actions, with a song literally called Demon. White told DJ Academics in an interview, King Von was known to be a killer. A man who killed black people. A man who was accused of killing a black girl. He's celebrated, right? You got celebrities who take pictures in front of his mural. What about his victim's family? Why don't y'all ever speak for them? F that idol. That idol is a demon. A self-proclaimed demon. I don't ride with demons. When did black people start riding with demons, homie? We got grandmothers who pray. Mothers who say, son, bless your food before you eat it. That's the media, though. The media and these young niggas raised in homes where mama always at work, so the music they listen to is carrying them, bro. That's what's going on. I seen it. I been seen it. Y'all niggas been supporting demonic shit. This bitch, Doja Cat, don't even, like, you feel me? Hide it no more, nigga. Shit crazy. Me, man. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, yeah. This shit crazy. So I'm looking at this, and everybody's siding with King Von devil music so to watch king von die before the world was an act of god one charleston white interview went really left after he sat down to talk to chicago's dj university on wednesday november 23rd when he spoke about lending support financially to the mother of deceased rapper fdg duck who was killed by gunfire in august of 2020 for whatever reason dj university decided to call out charleston white for not lending help to the mothers of other deceased chicago rappers even mentioning that FBG Doug and King Von had beef, and helping FBG's mom might make Charleston appear to be taking a side, which prompted pulling fake gun on an interviewer. I ain't gotta do that. Y'all go do it. Chicago can suck my D. How you gonna put that on me when y'all ain't even done a little of what I've done? How you gonna dictate what I'm gonna do with my heart when you don't even have in your heart to do it? From the knowledge I got, King Von was a killer. My mama had two sons locked up for murder. And my mama let everybody know I was not in agreement with what my son's done. So you can't make me care about King Von, mama. F that B. I don't give a F about his mama. I don't know that. I don't give a damn about it. Listen, I helped his mama. Why I need to know about two dead ass dudes. 
I don't give a F about Duck or Vaughn. I helped his living mama. F them dead dudes. They preached about killing people. Why y'all not helping they mama? Why a dude from Texas gotta pay his mama's car note? Why? And y'all wanna tell me what I'm gonna do with my money? <clears throat> Charleston Talk. White got even angrier, suggesting that FBG's mom should give him his money back if it's going to become such a problem while using a whole lot of profanity to describe her while cursing out the whole city of Chicago. Give me back my goddamn money, ho! Or suck my d Suggesting that they should be the ones supporting the families of their own dead rappers. If that wasn't enough drama for that moment, for Charleston it? White wow. raised the stakes even higher by getting up from the sofa he was sitting on and retrieving his pistol and allegedly threatening DJ University and his film crew. The argument never seemed to get resolved and eventually the video was just cut off. The gun pulling in Chicago wouldn't be the only time Charleston White wielded a weapon, even though Charleston White later claimed the gun was fake. Yeah, yeah, this isn't the first yeah, time Charleston White gun. has made headlines. That's a fake gun. This That's time a it was gun. a bottle of pepper spray. And it wasn't used against a DJ. It was for rapper Soldier Boy and his entourage of about a dozen people. Man, the clash between these two came about in Soulja Miami Boy. during the Rolling Loud Festival. I never forget but the drama was sparked Soulja when Boy. Charleston White was badmouthing Soldier Boy during an interview with Say Cheese TV. F Soldier Boy. Crunchy Black said he was a punk. Yeah, my dude Crunchy Black talked really bad about the dude. Man, listen, I want to remind Soldier Boy, you ain't got no motherfuck ops. Man watching you, man watching yo. Remember when you were on your tiptoes? Remember? You was a tiptoeing dude. You ain't got no mother effing ops. Nothing about you is street. Let's go back over your career. You got rap rivalries. You ain't got no opposition. You ain't boom, boom, boom. You shot at some dudes that broke into your house. Nah, that's a gimme. That's a gimme. You went to California and became a blood. How are you anything? And we all know you were paying for protection. You can't go be no blood the way you're doing it without paying them dudes. You ain't none of what you nah. be professing to be, soldier. Lie, he's on Grown soldier man, ass. soldier boy. It didn't take much time for the two to bump heads in real life, but as far as how nigga this event trans- You ain't got no ops, nigga. You shot at some niggas who broke in your house. That's a gimme. He's not lying. That is a gimme. That's a gimme. Listen, niggas breaking your house, that's free game. You can shoot at them niggas. That ain't even like, man, what? I ain't even no shit. Inspired, both Soldier Boy and Charleston White seem to have two different recollections of what exactly went down. Charleston went to Instagram Live and proclaimed, They don't know if they'd been tased. They don't know what had happened to the MFs. I hit the MF ass one more time, just for goodness sake. That dude Soldier Boy said, Bruh, you mace me? Yeah. That dude said, I just want to talk. Next time, you dudes better holler with a bullhorn. You better use the police bullhorn and say, Hey, we want to talk. You can't just walk up to a dude like me hollering about you want to talk. I don't want to talk to Nan, y'all. Hell nah. I don't want to talk to O. I don't even want to talk. <laughs> that story was hilarious. That story is fucking comedy, bro. Because I feel it, bro. Nigga, we don't got no... We don't got no pleasantries. We've been arguing on the internet. You turn up on me talking about something you want to talk? Yeah. I'm not going to give you the chance to sneak me, nigga. Element of surprise, motherfucker. Hit that nigga with the damn mace. Ah! Sprayed his ass and retreat. Yeah, talk to me on the phone, nigga. Fuck, nigga stupid. To a bunch of dudes. Dudes got rings on their fingers. What if a dude hit me across the head with one of them rings? Put that eye out. It'll go viral. Soldier later took to social media with what appeared to be a bit of a black eye and addressed the altercation by saying that as soon as Charleston White saw Soldier Boy's crew, the older ex-gangster pulled pepper spray out of his female companion's purse and started blasting it in the air and took off running. Following more online back and forth between the two, Charleston popped back up with a new video stating that he intends to file charges against Soldier Boy. Also, Charleston White has claimed that he filed a police report against Soldier and Flo Malcolm, rapper from Soldier Boy's SODMG label, for allegedly threatening to have Charleston killed. Whether you consider Charleston White a comedian nah, or funny, a speaker, his social media mayhem continued to bring hilarious. more confrontation his way when he thought it was a good That's idea hilarious. to put zero respect on the name of rappers Boosie and T.I. It started off with Charleston making a diss video targeting Boosie and his son, who happens to be a minor. This involved Charleston White going on another one of his YouTube rants, this time calling out Boosie's son, Tootie Raw, and T.I.'s son, King Harris, for getting arrested even though they come from rich rap dads, saying, Boosie, your boy don't know how to fight. Neither do that T.I. little yellow MF, long-haired freak. That little mother effer don't know how to fight either. Y'all babies is rapper dude babies. And that little T.I. little boy, that little yellow some dude thinks he's playing tough. You going to jail, dog. Your little boy going to jail just like your daddy. 
going to jail just like your daddy went. I'm talking about that goddamn little Boosie boy and that T.I. boy. They ain't gonna be nothing. Matter of fact, them little boys gonna grow up and be strung out on drugs the way they going. It didn't take long for several of Boosie's homies in Dallas, Texas to come across Charleston White hanging around their town, and they surrounded him, prompting Charleston White to call 911. Luckily, it appears nobody was harmed. The derogatory comments didn't get past T.I. or his young 18-year-old son, King, either, stating that oh, Charleston yeah. White was going to get beat up. Four, four niggas, a bunch of niggas around me. Hello? Officer? I got 26 hooligans with guns surrounding me right now, and I feel threatened for my life. They are associates of Boosie, and like, come on, bruh. He After did nothing white. wrong, bro. He's a civilian, bro. And we gotta stop this mindset of us black people thinking every just because we're black doesn't mean we gotta be fucking thugs, bro. You don't have to handle it the street way. I don't give a fuck, bro. Like, why can't we be civilians too? Why do we have to be the thugs, bro? Why do we have to handle everything by gang code and honor, nigga? Fuck that, nigga. Like what? A lot of you niggas never gangbang in your life talking about some, hey, man, I ain't no snitch. I ain't snitching on shit. A nigga breaking your mama house, you not gonna say, tell the police who it was? A nigga pistol whip you and your family, you not gonna tell the police who did it? You gonna go on your wanted tour and spin back with your homeboys? No, nigga, come on, bro. Y'all niggas are civilians, bro. Let's be fucking for real, bro. God damn, bro. Niggas, niggas think just because you black, you gotta be violent all the time. You gotta stand on business. Fuck is that? They're not standing on business. They're standing on a grave. White apparently reported the conflict to the Atlanta Police Department and Fulton County District. White openly said that he intended. What is the police gonna do? And that is the mentality right there that gets so many niggas killed. Man, the police ain't gonna do shit. I've seen police do a lot. <laughs> listen, uh, listen, and I, I hate to say it, but to some niggas, we can be fucking for real. Them niggas have done a lot to some niggas, bro. They've done a lot to niggas. What are the police going to do? The fuck they get paid to do, nigga? You think you tell them, hey, four niggas with guns pulled up in the crib and robbed me. They not going to go get them niggas, bro. They going to be like, nah, them just, let them niggas chill. Let them niggas hang out. Nah, man, you should have spun back on them. No, nigga, they going to go get them niggas, bro. You not reporting a fucking Macy's for jipping you out of $50. You reporting crimes that they want to stop, bro. Like, come on, bro. The fuck? Niggas steal from you, hey man, four niggas in masks and hoodies rob me for this, and this. They're gonna be like, all right, cool, take their shit down, and they're gonna look for it. Intentionally wanted to get King Harris locked up. What if you a drug dealer got robbed? Man, ain't no honor amongst thieves. You a criminal, nigga. But this is for civilians, nigga. I'm not talking about you criminal thugs who engage in illegal activity, obviously. This is for normal, everyday motherfuckers who get up, go to work, come home, do their school shit, clean their house, chill with their dog, their girlfriend, their family, whatever, and live normal, average day lives. The average black man's not a thug, bro. We need to stop this fucking idea that the average black man is some big ass gang banging tough guy that, no, most niggas is just normal people, bro. Thugs and gangbangers are a very small percentage of the population, bro. Like, After being made aware of what was going on, T.I. checked on. It's the only thing is that, listen, right? The media and social media and all that shit will have you believe that more of these niggas is tougher than they are. No, they're not, bro. A lot of these niggas is bitches. A lot of these niggas is pussy. A lot of these niggas don't talk the shit they, they really believe in. They just tough on the line, bro. Like, come on, bro. Shit don't make no sense. None of these niggas don't really be like. Not, I'm not gonna sit here and pretend that some niggas not, cause some of these niggas really are that. I ain't even gonna sit here in front. Some of these niggas are that, but majority of these niggas are not. And let's just keep it pushing, bro. On IG ain't Live fake for shit. talking down on his son. Just pull me up to speed on what some grown ass man had to say about my MF son. I know dude to want attention. I know dude to ain't got nothing else going on. Ain't got no real talent. Can't do nothing but kick up dust and wait on stuff to fall down so they can get dirty and some clout get to them. I know that's how dudes get paid. I understand that you a bottom feeder and a parasite. I understand when that's your business, but boy, I'll spare no expense on yourself about mine. Give a F about no police, I'll do all my time. I got family who's willing to risk their lives and freedom to die about me and mine. Don't play with me, man. Don't play with my MF child ever again. That nigga Charleston White doubled down on it. 
Now the back and forth between Charleston White and the father and son T.I. and King really took off, with Charleston White responding with a warning of his own to T.I. Say, T.I., listen, if your boy jump on me, y'all will bury that yellow dude, Charleston White said. I'll shoot him right in his throat. I wish an 18, 19 year old dude would jump on me. Boy, I Trayvon Martin, that little dude. I swear to God, my right hand to God, I swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. If T.I.'s son jump on me, I'm going George Zimmerman, Trayvon Martin, his little ass. You better get your boy tip, and you better tell him you work for Crime Stoppers, he added, bringing up T.I.'s appearance on the commercial. Eventually, T.I. and Charleston White were said to have gotten on the phone together to talk man to man. And not much good seemed to come out of that exchange either, especially when you see how Charleston White inflated the conflict even further on IG Live by posting, Just got off the phone with T.I.'s ho ass. If I ain't no comedian, then I'm gonna handle it like I ain't no comedian. You ain't dictating nothing, not this conversation. I'm the big dog talking. I ain't trying to get down or give a dude one. So F you, Tib. That's exactly what I just told the dude on the phone. Yeah, I might be the police. And guess what? They asked me, you gonna put Tip's son in jail? I said, nah, I ain't gonna get him. When I stepped to his daddy, he ain't gonna have all that tough stuff in his voice. Dude, you ain't no millionaire ready to crash out and go to no 23 hour lockdown. Stop talking tough, trying to sell that stuff to the people. You a straight up O. Now that's facts. You feel me? Let's be real. A lot of you rich rapping niggas don't want to go to jail. <laughs> you not gonna crash out, nigga. You all talk. You just trying to scare me, nigga. You ain't, re you ain't really trying to crash out. What's up, Cam? Cam! Let me ask you a question, bro. It's kind of, what's today? Tuesday? Nah, it's too late. I was gonna say, Cam, you know, the, the beers are in Tampa Bay. This weekend. Are you willing to go get your heart broke with me? Chat, do I cur am I a curse? I did go to the Messi game and the nigga didn't score. That's the only time he didn't score, bro. When it's all said and done, Charleston White calls out the more negative aspects of society, even calling out rappers that he feels are setting a bad example for their fans. But sometimes it's hard to see where the role model in him begins and where the criminal aspects of his past end when he lets his See, harsh opinions crazy, get him wrapped up in beef after seats. beef. Is he really nah, interested wanna, in saving the youth or is it all chance, just bro. stirring up trouble for attention? It's hard to understand Charleston's intentions when he's doing things like holding up an assault rifle on camera and saying, quote, Dead to all Crips and Bloods, dead to all GDs and BDs, may they all die like King Vaughn, may they all die like Draco the Ruler, may they all die like Nipsey Ossel. And even most recently, he's decided to beef with none other than Aiden Ross, who invited him in several streams of his, even an IRL stream where he pretty much got up and nearly pepper jailed another streamer by the name of Prime because they got into a bit of a shouting match. Eventually, Charleston White leaving and going on IG Live, going on a rant about... Fuck New York too. We did them the worst way, like... No. Yo. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yo. Yo. Just can't have that, man. Just can't have that, bro. Come to New York and say that? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. Aiden Ross's ethnicity, what he would do to Aiden Ross's sister, and then proceeding to cry after that. So Charleston White's beef weren't just limited to some of the biggest rappers, but also to one of the I biggest content bitch. creators. Aiden Ross after that saying that Charleston White would no longer ever be welcome to streaming as a deal on kick.com. But love him or hate him, Charleston White is definitely one of the people that's this able to keep- This is the funniest it. picture I've ever seen in my life because this nigga Charleston White was 23 here and he looks the same way he did when he 45. All eyes on him. This Even when he is giving advice that he doesn't this always follow himself. Make sure to subscribe for more.